September has been big for local uh, liquor businesses. He sure has. Four new laws kicked in at the beginning of the month designed to grow the industry. In fact, Governor Rick Perry even declared this month Craft Dis Distilled Spirits Month. KXAN's Ignacio Garcia went directly to a local distiller to see how they're welcoming the change and what it all means for you. This story new at 10. Bottles at the Dripping Springs Vodka Distillery filling up six at a time, cranking out about 50,000 cases this year. A big jump from the 5,000 cases back in 05. Well, our trajectory of growth has been fairly significant year over year. We've grown at something like 25 percent, you know, a year ever since we started. And the pace could be picking up fast. This month, the state loosened the laws to allow distilleries to sell straight to the consumer, a big game changer for small distilleries like this one. It offers Texas distillers, you know, I think, the opportunity to have a business model, bring in a little extra income uh, directly from the consumer. The state bills will also bring other changes in the way these companies market their products, including tasting rooms and tours, something consumers have been asking about for a long time. Well, we actually get a lot of calls here from people wanting to do tours, um, almost as many as a couple a day, and a lot of inquiries via Facebook. So there's definitely a huge interest and, and market for it. Parties, live music, and special events are still a ways out. Distilleries have to get their paperwork in order and redesign their facilities before anyone can toast to the new law. In Dripping Springs, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. Right now, Dripping Springs Vodka has 19 people on their staff. That number could jump with the demand due to these new laws. Well, for an idea of how big things have gotten and how quickly, as of May, there were 45 business, businesses with TABC distillers licenses. That's a more than 28% jump in total locations from just August of last year. Now, a quick check of locations through the state's Distilled Spirits Association. It shows in addition to San Luis Spirits and Dripping Springs, Central Texas is home to Tito's Deep Eddy, Treaty Oak and Texacello, all in Austin, White Hat in Maynard, Cypress Creek in Wimberley, Spirit of Texas Distillery in Fliggerville, and Garrison Brothers out in High. That's at least a fifth of licensed distillers. And all these new distilling laws go hand in hand with new laws for craft beer brewers passed this last full legislative session. It was all part of easing restrictions that microbrewers were calling too strict. Depending on how much the operation brews, most beer makers can now sell on site to guests and tour groups. Brew pubs can now double the amount of barrels they're legally allowed to make. The other big change, microbrewers can now sell more beer directly to retailers.